Hey, we are back with some more Zelda. Last time, we went to the Sanctuary, and we infused our blade with the power of the two elements that we have. Um, and then we were attacked by Vati, and we learned his backstory. Turns out, Ezlo, the guy... Ooh! Mm hmm. If we die, um, the fairy will save us. Because they heal four hearts. Uh, anyways. So, once we... Oh, what in the world? So we can kill these guys in one hit. So we discovered that Ezlo um, was Vati's old uh, master. Like Vati was an... Oh, wait, what? Vati was an apprentice. And... Uh, Ezlo had created this magical cap that could grant the wishes of the user. Classic. And uh, Vati obviously went and stole the hat. And now uh, he is evil. Evil little guy. So, our goal... Now we know like more about him. And he put the curse on Ezlo that... My god... I'm confused. Am I going the right way? Did I mess up somewhere? I think I messed up somewhere. Oh, that's right. Down here, because we can do this now. So, our goal is still to get all the elements and save Zelda with them. So, those blue off. But now we know a little bit more about what we're dealing with. So that red tinstone piece is probably one we need. Ouch. For later. Um, I am Percy, poet laureate of Hyrule. And you are Nezzy. Oh, no, no. The pleasure is mine. I travel all over the realm, writing verse wherever I go. But I, here I am, returning after a long absence, only to find the road blocked. If it wouldn't feel wait, it wouldn't feel like such a waste if I hadn't lost half my kinstone. When misfortune rains down upon my head, it pours in torrents. I think I may have dropped it in the inn I stayed in last night. I see no other course than to put these tragic events to verse. I see stars beyond the rainbow, but I cannot reach them. Through, though the stone I lost is small, large was its place in my heart. So the inn, I believe, is in the town, and we can go there and pick up his piece. And then he moves. He ends up uh, moving in somewhere. Eh? It was a strange feeling. I sent something from the castle's direction. Or was it just me? Uh oh. Hmm? Hmm? Who's there? What? Vachi? How did you get in here? What are you doing? <laughs> it looks like you're all here. Very well, the King of Hyrule has words for you. You all know of the power the Pokori gave to mankind, do you not? The golden light force of limitless magical power? I want it! It is somewhere here in Hyrule. Go now, and bring me this power. Waste no time. Go forth at once, and bring me the Light Force. Fling anyone who refuses into the dungeon. Him and his family, too. I will tolerate no disobedience. Now, search high and low throughout the lands of Hyrule. Hmm, maybe it's... Oh. Maybe it's just the wind, but I hope nothing bad has happened. Anyway, we need to look for the next element. The map says it should be somewhere around here. Oh, jeez. These guys always drop uh, five rupees, I'm pretty sure. That fallen log is a place where a kinstone can change things. So is the, the vines. So is that fallen log. Here we go. It says, don't forget your boots there. So is that one. See, there's a ton of spots. 
So this must be Castor Wilds. It's a nasty, dank pl- Oh, dank. Filled with swamp land and mire, but we know there's an element waiting for us somewhere in here, so... Here we go! Oh, come on, Izzy. Into the muck with us. Yeah, see, there we go. Oh, wait. That's not supposed to happen. I don't think we can walk fast enough to cross the swamp. We're going to have to find some way to get across safely. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a visual glitch, I think. You're supposed to, like, kind of sink. Like, be able to walk across it, but just slowly sink. So that's what's going on. So we need to find some way to get through that. Because we can't quite make it. So we gotta go... I'm going over here just to see what's what. Yeah, there's a... That little gray spot on the ground is also a uh, kinstone spot. I planted the bee near my house, but it just doesn't want to grow. Is that all he's saying? Yeah, it's... Um, despite what you might think, it's... You don't... Um, what do you call it? You don't get water to put in there, unfortunately. Yes, there's another spot. There's so many spots where Kinstone can do stuff. Ah, here we go. Ow. There we go. Now we can we'll shortcut back here. So we need boots. Special boots that can help us cross. Uh, real quick, though. Oh, hey, this guy's pretty cool. Why, hello there. Thanks for coming by. <laughs> hello there, General Kenobi. I sell all kinds of Picolite. Just put it in your bottle and good stuff happens when you drink it. It's just buffs you can get. Those little things. But he doesn't show up unless you clear off that spot. We did that a while back. I'm going to see if we have the right... Oh, we don't. Okay. We can't do this yet. In this cool climate, my clothes are a little on the unprotective side. So that guy's a foreigner. He's from a place we haven't been to yet. And if we fuse kinstones with him, something cool happens. But we can't do that yet. We're not the right piece. We've got plenty of time to do it. But... That guy just fell asleep at his post. Remember, we talked to him earlier. Uh... He was like, oh, when I go to sleep, the, the thing is finished for me. Hey, hey, you're Nezzy, right? You're the one who brought the sword to Master Malari. You're on a quest of the princess, aren't you? I wish I could go on a quest, but that'd make... Then who'd make Ram's shoes for him? Oh, ho, we need Pegasus boots. Why, you're just in time. We made a pair just now while Ram was sleeping. But only Ram can put the finishing touches on him. Oh, that sleepyhead Ram is nearly impossible to wake up. If you want to wake him, you'll need to get an item from Syrup's Hut. It's a little bit of a trek, but we'll mark it on your map for you. Yeah, so we gotta go over there. I need to get something to wake this guy up. I think you can. F oh, I thought you could fuse with one of these guys. Yeah. Got it. So we gotta go to Syrup's hut. Because, uh, Syrup is a witch. And she has the thing we need to wake him up. So that's where we're off to. So this is like a side quest before we can get on with the regular quest. And this side quest like also has a side quest kind of. So this is funny. So like I lost my key. I lost my key. Wait, he's like a cowboy rat. What in tarnation? Uh I don't have a piece for him. Oh. They lost their key. You see, they lost their key, and the spare is inside. But we sneak in the house and steal the key from them. Wait. What in tarnation? Oh, I want an only spare key. 
I don't know how you got this, but that I can't thank you enough. Tell me your name, sonny. That's, that's a great name. If you ever need to go to Lake Hylia, feel free to cut through our house. Yeah. Thank you very much, Nezzy. Can we use this again? We will. Or I will. So now we can sneak through this area. Uh, we can't do that quite yet. Uh, oops. Fifty rubies. Rupees. Sorry. Um, oh. All right. This is. Wait. What? I can jump down from here, right? Right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's like. Uh. Yeah. We can't do that part yet. It's a nice little sign for us. We gotta come all the way over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we'll be back here pretty soon, so we don't have to worry about um, some stuff that's obviously for later. Because oh, oh, hold on. Oh, we can change the direction. I didn't know that. Yeah, I can change the direction. Okay, cool. The more you know. Uh, let's do this real quick. Is this the piece we need? That thing? Nope. It is not. We need it's like a red one, but it's kind of a zigzag pattern on it. Uh this button. Barely made it. Lake Hylia. To Mayor Hagen's cabin. That's uh, important for later as well. But we need to go here because... This is Syrup's Hut. <laughs> Welcome. Care for some of Granny's homemade blue potion? One sip and you're full of energy. Ah, yes, a fine choice, my dear. That's a limited time article, one whiff and you're wide awake. That's why it's called a wake-up mushroom. Would you like to buy it for 60 rubies? Oh, man. That's outrageous. Yep, just uh, face the sleepy snoozer and press the R button. So now we have the mushroom. We can wake up. What's his name? Ooh, a blue kinstone piece. Whoop de doo. What a great prize. We uh got a kinstone piece and then used it to get another kinstone piece. Uh, here's another um, little side quest that we probably won't finish. But it's important to uh, at least show off and lock it for later. It's one solid wall. Ooh. Yeah. See, see, these blue ones are specific. So this Goron's trying to punch you this wall. And we fuse with him to get... Oh no, this guy to show up. And this guy is, yeah, he sells kinstones, which is helpful um, if you're trying to actually complete things, because there we're gonna need kinstones to fuse with other places to get Gorons to come punch the wall down with that guy. 
But what we're gonna do, before we wake up what's his name, I wanna see 300. Ugh. Never mind. I was gonna see if we can, if that's the right one we needed for this other thing, but apparently not. Yep, we just, uh, wake him up. Ugh. It's like, uh, smelling salts. What is that terrifyingly bad smell? A wake up mushroom? Oh, I should have guessed. You woke me up. Thanks, I just remembered I have an urgent thing to do. Oh, what now? <laughs> what? There were more new shoes? You probably won't believe this, but I have a strange habit of making shoes in my sleep. So you must have come here because you want some of my shoes, right? Tell you what, because you were nice enough to wake me, you can have them. Hold on a sec. I want to finish this one. Though. You just kind of... There you go. These are my special Pegasus boots. They're so light you'll feel like you're practically walking on air. Oh, I need to hurry up and get working on a special order. Can't be to make some shoes for Zelda, you see. Thanks for waking me up. Come back if you ever need help with shoe problems. So now... We can... Run around. See? And we need this to get across these murky swamps. But, now that we have the shoes, we can come back to Swiftblade. Ah, yes, you have the Pegasus boots, and you seem to have more skill, too. Yes, I'm ready to train you again. He's going to teach us a really special technique. Uh, you will learn a new technique, the dash attack. First, equip the Pegasus boots. Second, equip your sword. Third, run like crazy. That's all you need, young swordsman. Yes, yes, you are my finest student. Just equip the sword and the Pegasus boots and blah, blah, blah. You feel the technique? That's why I will possess your body to demonstrate this. This is the swift blade possession technique of training. Watch this. Position. View. Now you must try for yourself. Equip the Pegasus boots and your sword and run like crazy. Yes, fine work. You learn quickly. Now I'm going to give you this tiger scroll. Yeah, so he teaches us to uh, run with our sword out. Which is uh, useful, I guess? It's just fun to have, I guess. So now we can go back. It's helpful to get around. So now we can go back to the Castle Wilds, and we can head toward the element. And that's what we're going to do next time. So, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.